Welcome to our special coverage on the 2024 tax refunds. In this video, we'll be addressing a significant concern for many taxpayers, refunds being placed on hold by the IRS, with transcript codes 570 and 971, and the review of 2023 tax returns. Stay tuned as we delve into what this means for taxpayers and what steps can be taken to address these issues. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. I'm in today we're going to tackle an important topic that's been causing anxiety for many taxpayers. Let's dive straight into it. Let's start by understanding what transcript codes 570 and 971 mean for taxpayers. These codes are often associated with IRS actions that result in the delay or hold of tax refunds. Transcript code 570 indicates that there's a hold on the taxpayer's account, often due to additional review or processing needed. Code 971 typically signifies that the IRS has sent a notice or letter to the taxpayer regarding their refund status. So, if you see these codes on your transcript, it's essential not to panic. It could simply mean that the IRS needs more time to review your return or has sent you a notice regarding your refund. Now, let's move on to the next point. Another factor contributing to refund delays is the review of 2023 tax returns. The IRS may be conducting additional scrutiny on returns filed for the previous tax year, which can impact the processing of refunds for 2024. Taxpayers whose 2023 returns are under review may experience delays in receiving their 2024 refunds, as the IRS focuses on resolving any discrepancies or issues from the previous year. So, if you're one of the taxpayers whose 2023 tax return is under review, it's essential to be patient as the IRS completes its investigation. Now, let's discuss what steps you can take if you find yourself in this situation. If your tax refund is on hold due to transcript codes 570 and 971, or if your 2023 tax return is under review, there are several steps you can take to address the issue and expedite the process. First, it's crucial to carefully review any notices or letters you receive from the IRS. These communications will provide important information about why your refund is on hold or why your 2023 return is under review. Additionally, if you have questions or need further clarification, don't hesitate to contact the IRS directly or consult with a qualified tax professional. They can provide guidance and assistance tailored to your specific situation. In conclusion, if your 2024 tax refund is on hold with transcript codes 570 and 971, or if your 2023 tax return is under review, it's essential to remain calm and informed. Take the necessary steps to address the issue, and seek assistance if needed. Remember, the IRS is working to ensure the accuracy and integrity of the tax system for all taxpayers. Thank you for watching.